There is no need to memorize your multiplication facts up to your 10 times tables. Go into the 5 times tables is good enough because you use your hands to figure out the rest. Here's how. Suppose I want to work out, say, 7 times 8. Let's use our hands to do this. A closed fist is going to be worth 5. To make it worth 7, add 2 more digits. 6, 7. There's 7. A closed fist is worth 5, but to make it 8, add 3 more digits. 6, 7, 8. There's 8. So there's a representation of 7. There's a representation, representation of 8. Now, in this method, each finger up is worth 10. I currently have 5 fingers up, so that makes 50 right there. And what we have to do next is multiply the fingers down. There are two down on this side, there are three down on this side, and two times three is six. I claim seven times eight is 56. And it is. Whoa. Let's do another one. Let's do, say, six times nine. All right, here goes. Close fist is worth five. To make it six, add one more digit. A close fist is worth five. To make it nine, add four more digits. Each digit up is worth 10. So that's five digits up right now. That's 50. Multiply what's down. One down on this side, four down this side, one times four is four. Six times nine is 54. It's working. Let's do another one. Let's do seven times six. This is fun. Seven times six. Close fist is worth five. Six, seven. There's a seven. Close fist is worth five. To make it six, one more digit. There's a six. All right, each digit up is worth 10. So I've got three things up right now. That's 30. Multiply what's down. Four down on this side, three down on this side, four times three is 12. I claim seven times six is 30 plus 12, 42, and it is. Wow. Now you really do need to know your five times tables for this. For example, I could do five times five with this method. That was a little sparse. For example, a close fist is five. I'm done. A close fist is five. I'm done. Each finger up is worth 10. There are no fingers up there. I've got no tens. Multiply what's down? Five down times five down. I guess I really do need to know five times five. But if you've got your five times tables, you can go all the way up to your 10 times tables by using this handy trick. But you know what? If you're really extra game, if you're willing to use your fingers and your toes, we can go all the way up to our 20 times tables. Are you game? Okay, let's now use all 20 fingers and toes, which you can't see, to go up to our 20 times tables. All right, so let's do something like 17 times 18. I've got 10 digits on my left side, and I've got 10 digits on my right side. Right now, everything on my left is closed, and that's going to be worth 10. A closed left side is worth 10. To make it worth 17, I'm going to raise five more digits. You can't see it, but five toes are raised and two fingers are raised. Seven things are raised on my left side right now to represent the number 17. On the right side, I'll represent the number 18. Everything's closed right now, so right, that's worth 10. A closed side is worth 10. To make it 18, we need to add eight more digits. Five toes, which you can't see, and three fingers. That's 18. So on this side, I've got 17. This side, I've got 18. Seven things up here, eight things up here. Now, in this method, since we're using all 20 digits, each raised digit is now worth 20. So I've got seven things on this side and eight things on this side raised. I've got 15 things raised, each worth 20. 15 twenties is 300. And all I have to do now is multiply what's down. I've only got three down on this side. I've only got two down on this side. Three times two is six. I claim 17 times 18 is 300, fingers and toes, to and six. And do you know what? It is 306. Whoa, whoa. Let's do 19 times 19. I don't know it's 361 in my head. 19 squared is 361. But let's see it with a method. All right, everything on my left side is down. That's worth 10. To make it 19, up go five toes and four fingers. That's 19. Uh, right side, everything down is worth 10. To make it 19, five toes and four fingers. There's 19. All right, right now I've got nine things up and nine things up. I've got 18 things up in total, each worth 20. 18 20s is 360. And then multiply what's down. 1 down times 1 down. 1 times 1 is 1. I claim 19 times 19 is 360, 1, which it is. This is crazy. Now, of course, the real question is, why is this working? What's going on? This is deep. This is fascinating. What's going on? Can we figure it out? All right, let's explain what's really going on here. And just to get us going, let's go back to the 10 digit case, where a closed fist is worth five, to make it seven, for example, add two more digits. A closed fist is worth five, to make it eight, add three more digits. Let's try to work out seven times eight via this crazy method. But let me be a little more abstract. I mean, I've literally drawn seven times eight by picture, two fingers up, three fingers up. But let's be abstract and call this A fingers up, not be locked into the two-ness I'm seeing there, literally. Let's call this B fingers up. So that means this picture here is representing the number closed fist 5 with A fingers up. That's the number 5 plus A. 
This picture here is representing the number of closed fist of five with B fingers up. It's representing the, num representing the number five plus B. And we're trying to work out this number times this number. We're trying to work out that product right there via a crazy method. And what's the crazy method said? say? It says each finger up is going to be worth 10. So the A fingers up there, so I have A tens for the left hand side, and I have B tens for the right hand side. That is I'll have 10A coming from the left hand plus 10B coming from the right hand. There's A tens and B tens. Each finger up is worth 10. And the method said to add to that, multiply the fingers that are down. Oh, what's down? Okay, let's look at this. Okay, so if there's A fingers up, the rest of the five fingers must be down. So that must mean there's five minus A fingers down. And if B fingers are up over here, the rest of the five must be down. There must be five minus B fingers down here. Okay, so here's all the fingers up worth 10 and multiply the fingers down. Add that product. Add five minus A times five minus B. That's what our crazy method says to do. And apparently that is this in disguise. Okay, is it? I can't see it right now. So maybe I should um, like uh, do some expanding some brackets. For example, this is five plus A times five plus B. I'll do a quick little area model. I'll be a bit scrawly, because I tend to be scrawly. There's five plus A, five plus B. If I actually work out five plus A times five plus B, I'll get a five times five, I'll get a 25. I'll get a five A, I'll get a five B, and I'll get an A times B. So I can see my left hand side is really a 25 plus a 5A plus a 5B plus an AB. All right, so that's what the left hand side really is. And the right hand side is a 10A and a 10B and another expand the brackets. Uh, let me do it over here. So I'll have a, a 5 minus A and a 5 minus B. I'll get a 5 times 5 is a 25. 5 times negative A is negative 5A. 5 times negative B is negative 5B. And I'll get a negative A times a negative B. That'll be a positive AB. So this left-hand side here is actually my 10A and my 10B. And this expanded out is a 25 minus a 5A minus a 5B plus an AB. All right, so what is that? Um, can I do anything with that? There's a lot going on there. Well, 10A take away 5A, that's 5A. So I've got a 5As. 10B take away 5Bs is 5Bs. Still got that 25 and I've still got that AB. So the right-hand side is actually that. But look at this, look at this. I can now see they're the same. They both have a 25, they both have a 5A, they both have a 5B and they both have an AB. This is actually algebraically the same as that. Yes, this crazy method is actually doing that product. Whoa. In fact, let me just write more neatly what we've just done. We have just shown a nice algebraic relation that, uh, let's do this, five, plus A times five plus B is 10 A's plus 10 B's plus the product of the digits down. All right, so we just established that via algebra, plus five minus A times five minus B. That is the basic identity this method is telling us is true, and it is true. But here's the thing, that was a closed fist worth five. That was a closed fist worth five. There's a finger up worth 10, a finger up worth 10, closed fist worth five, closed fist worth five. If I want to do this with fingers and toes, where everything down is worth 10 and everything up is worth 20, I bet you could prove this. This would be the fingers and toes version. 10, 10, 20, 20, 10, 10. Check that. Is that algebraically correct? Is that right? Okay, a bit smudgy, but maybe you can still see what it is. In fact, I bet you could do this for any number of fingers on your body. For example, I have to know that Martians have six fingers on each of two hands. They would go six, six, 12, 12, six, six. In fact, any number of fingers, I bet you could prove that any number of fingers plus A, any number of fingers plus B is double the number of fingers A, double the number of fingers B, plus the number of fingers down, N minus A, N minus B. That's the most general relationship there is. And is it true? Can you check the algebra on that most general version? Do you know what? I bet you can.